Hey guys, how are we doing today? This is Wally with LearningIt.com and in today's hosting a review for 2019, I wanted to make this video primarily for individuals that are creating their uh, very first website online. You may be curious about Hostinger. You want to know if it's any good or not, if it's a really dependable web hosting company to uh, create your website. And uh, I wanted to give you my personal experience with them what it's been like for me on the um, upcoming, I want to say, three years that I've been with uh, Hostinger. Um, this primary domain, LearningNet.com, is hosted through them. And I also have uh, 10 additional websites under the same account that are you know, provided by uh, Hostinger.com. And so anyway, uh, with that said, I just wanted to let you guys know what I personally think about them in this review. And that way you can make a solid decision if they're for you or not. Um, as you can see right now, I'm on their website. They have some really, really nice uh, web hosting uh, packages for shared. Uh, if you get started for your, your very first website, likely you want shared because it's the most inexpensive uh, plan to go to go with. Um, as for Hostinger, they have uh, three plans in place. One is a single, the second is a premium, and the third tier is the, the business plan itself. Overall, Hostinger's uh, web hosting is very, very inexpensive. It's super cheap. Anybody can get started with them. Uh, there's really no excuse for why you shouldn't get started with them today, uh, considering how cheap they make it uh, for you. If you're looking just to create one website, that's all you need. The single plan is probably best for you. Um, the resources are limited. You should know that up front. You can only host one website one email account, 100 gigabytes of bandwidth. That's all you get, you know, with that. Uh, there's some other features that are kind of like, you know, added on to that. But the main focus that you want to know is that with the single plan, it only allows you to host one website. So you can't really go beyond that. That's pretty much what you're getting with the single plan itself. But um, when I got started with uh, Hostinger, coming up on uh, three years ago, I wanted to really create like, I, I was really into like creating multiple websites. And so that's really why I went with the premium plan itself. Of course, the business plan itself allows you to do that too, but I didn't really need the business plan itself. Being at the premium tier itself allowed me to create unlimited uh, website. So that's the plan that I have even to date. Um, I have like 10 websites, as I mentioned before, that I've created with this plan itself. As you can see, it's $2.95 per month. You get unlimited email accounts, which is great, unlimited bandwidth, and you have like faster speeds as well, even with this uh, plan. So um, to keep this uh, review short and not complicated, like a lot of other people may do online, what you want to do, you know, when it comes to uh, web hosting itself is if you're looking for shared web hosting, what I recommend you to do is to think about what exactly you need, not what I think you need or what other people think you need, but think about what you need. What is it that you need to create your website? Do you need to create just one website? The single plan should be ideal for you. If you're into like affiliate marketing, network marketing, MLM, your Amazon affiliate, something like that, and you need to create multiple websites, mini websites, or even like e-commerce stores and things of that nature, then um, the premium or the, or the business plan may be better for you. And so when, I, when, I, when it comes to web hosting, just think about what exactly you need and just uh, go with the plan that you feel most uh, comfortable with. Hostinger has a 30-day money-back guarantee, 24-7 uh, customer support. I really like the chat service because they're very, very fast. Um, I've contacted them like in the past um, about my web hosting itself, not due to any issues that I've had, but simply just to understand better um, how different like plugins function with others. Because sometimes, you know, you download like WordPress plugins. When you get to like your cPanel, as you can see, you know, right here, I've logged into it just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. Um, right here, you'll be able to manage, you know, your website, add on, you know, several uh, domains, as I mentioned before, you know, like with the, uh, let me go back to it. 
the premium in the business that allow you to host unlimited, you know, websites. So the way you go about doing that when you get started with, um, you know, hosting it today is that once you log into your cPanel, you just drop down and you click there on add domains. And when you do that, you can add on domains, right? And create, you know, multiple uh, websites, you know, from this page itself. And so they make it very easy to get started. It's very user friendly. Um, the plan itself, again, that I have is the premium one only because I wanted to be able to create multiple websites. So um, your situation may be different. If you're a person that is looking for um, a good plan, like for high traffic, maybe you have like, you know, tens of thousands of monthly visitors, you need like web hosting for uh, to be able to support that volume of traffic, then, then I recommend you to scale up to like the cloud or VPS. They have really good plans, you know, for those as well. A good sale on the cloud hosting that I noticed uh, some time ago. But again, if you have a website that is um, receiving like a lot of monthly visitors, then you definitely want to look at their VPS plans that they offer. So, I mean, Hostinger, in my opinion, is a really great, reliable web hosting uh, provider. If you're looking to create your website today uh, and get it off to a good start and you're wondering if Hostinger is the right vehicle or not, um, they're great. I think you should give them a try. Go ahead and give them started. Get 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 started with them, rather. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, leave a link right below. That way you can use it to get started You know, with them. Again, in this uh, Hostinger review, I just wanted to give you guys my personal opinion You know, with them. Um, if you want to learn more about like how to create websites using their cPanel, just go ahead and message me below. You can drop a comment uh, below in the comments area of this video, or you can uh, contact me um, using the contact link that's on my website at learningnet.com. If you need help creating uh, websites, I'd be more than happy to assist you with that. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys my personal take on Hostinger. Hope you guys get started with them today. I'm going to drop some links below for you guys to get started. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like if you like what you heard. And I'll catch you guys 